Hi, my name is Pop, and I'm going to be talking about the disputed land around the Piriha Temple. Thai and Cambodia is fighting over a 4.6 square kilometers land, which is estimated estimated 5 million baht and is located in the middle of the border of Thailand and Cambodia. I will also be explaining the history of the temple and why each country wants the land and who I will support and why. Next I will be explaining the history. Skip the history. This Hindu temple was built in the 11th to 12th century which was built by the Khmer civilization, which also built the Angkor Wat. The Khmers ruled the region for five centuries. But in 1962, the ICJ, International Court of Justice, gave the land around the temple to, to Cambodia, and the Cambodians already own the temple. Next, I will be telling you about my research question. My, my research question is, who out of Thailand and Cambodia deserves the land around the Pee Wee Ha Temple? I will be trying to answer who sh should get the temple and why. I will be explaining this in my next three topics. Um, so why does Thailand feel entitled to this dispute area? So there's a lot of, um, <coughs> there's a lot of territory around the Pee Wee Temple, um, 4.6 square kilometers, and the, and around the land there is some oil and gas in it, and they will also gain power over the Cambodians. So why does Cambodia feel entitled to these islands? So they feel entitled to these islands because the, in because the French maps wrote that the land the land belonged to them, but but since the Khmers Khmers built the temple, there's there are lots of Khmers in Cambodia, so they feel entitled to it because of that. So I support both countries, and this is the reason why. Um, Thailand were, were the first ones to own the land, but the ICJ voted that um, the Cambodia owns now owns the land around the Pree Temple in 1962, and they want it back. And the and the Thais wanted wanted to get the temple back, the land back. So um, instead of talking together, they used force and started fighting. And the people who lived around the area had to be sent outside of the house because of all the fighting, and somebody could get injured or die. So, so um, Thailand and Cambodia have been really good friends for a long time, and now they are fighting like cats and dogs because they want the land around the temple. I think that they should share the land and cooperate since they both want to the land so much that um, they will hurt or kill um, others. So I think they should use their words and talk. Okay. So my conclusion, is, to wrap this up, I think that Thailand and Cambodia should share the land. However, the ICJ told the results on November 11, 2013. They said that the Cambodia owns a very small part of the land. Also, the ICJ told Thailand and Cambodia that they sh they should work them this out themselves. So, in conclusion, no one knows who who will get the rest of the land.